Nikocado Avocado. Assuming I had forgotten about you, or perhaps I wouldn't come to you next. Well, my friend, that's where you are wrong. All right, everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day so far, because in today's video, we are revisiting the wonderful and greasy world of the mukbangers. In the past, we've looked at Amblin Reed and Chantel Marie, and let me tell you, what a plate full of fun that was. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Sometimes you need to turn over a new page. Change the tablecloths, should we say. So, why not? Let's talk about a man called Nikocado Avocado. Yes. Avocado. A form of fruit, may I add, which, you know, slightly confuses me considering the utter state on his channel. McDonald's, KFC, giant lobsters, and Chinese takeaways. Quite frankly, absolutely unreal. It's absurd. Mm. But for those of you who aren't aware of what a mukbang slash mukbang is, it's basically where you sit in front of the camera and eat. That's, uh, that's it. That's, it just stops there. I've been with fun. I know, creative, right? Wow. But as you can tell by the views, mukbang videos seem to do really well on YouTube, so it's understandable why people do this. However, Nikocado Avocado is a completely different breed of mukbangers. And this, my friends, this is why you <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I used to be so attractive. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can probably imagine, today's video is going to be quite the topic. And by that, I mean ranging from his mukbangs, to his breakdowns, then to his manipulation, which will eventually lead to his constant drama he proceeds to create with his husband. But more of all that later, because we got a whole lot to go through. And I mean... <laughs> A whole lot. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, Nick wasn't always like this. As you can see on screen, that's how he started off making his mukbang videos. But only a couple of years later, ending up looking like this. But despite that, people have accused him of many things. Saying he's known to be manipulative, rude, obnoxious, in denial, and overall no care in the world when it comes to his audience. These are also things Amblin Reed was being accused for, which I did cover in an older video. Something she would often do is start a weight loss journey to only fail by eating crappy food, moaning about it, and then repeating the same process over and over. And without a deep analysis, this may look like just a failure of weight loss goals, something a lot of us experience, failure, but it runs much deeper, and it's something I describe as a master plan to manipulate audience engagement. But to understand this recent drama of Nick's, we must first take a look to see what is within. There is always a master plan behind every mastermind. So my friends, could Nick indeed be an evil genius? As I would be too, it's a very much effort for me to clean because I'm overweight! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at all my couches. So, Nicocado Avocado, where to actually begin with this man? As I said, he started his channel looking healthy. However, not so much eating healthy. Now, you know, it's common sense to know, ladies and gentlemen, that believe it or not, eating like this on a regular basis will in fact result in gaining weight. Holy crap! Really? Oh yes, my friends, really. Not a lot of people know that, you'd be surprised, and I can assure you, it is very, very, very real. Now, obviously, the reason Nick continued was, in fact, because of the result the videos were getting, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views and growth each month. However, all good things must come to an end, and in denial must face reality. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen to my mukbang. I know what you're probably thinking. Um, well, Curtis, it's slightly different to um, Nicocardo's mukbang. Yours is slightly more presentable. Yeah, sure, right. So what I thought we'd do is sit here and present the food as if I'm doing a mukbang, because that's what Nicocardo does. So if we look at this logically, I'm eating food in front of the camera equals millions of views. Mm. And to add on to the fact, yes, I know, my hair's getting very long. What do you want to do about it? The hairdressers aren't open. I can't cut it myself. Are you mad? However, ladies and gentlemen, I think it'd be a good place to start talking about Nicocado Avocado's weight gain. You know, the more and more mukbangs he does, the more and more he's putting himself in a critical position. But the most amazing thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that Nick does mukbang videos eating lots of food. 
and then makes videos complaining about the fact he's gaining weight and mourns and mourns over and over and over. Yeah, <laughs> it's very repetitive. Oh my god, I had to get fat for this couch. I had to get fat for this couch. I'm literally fat. I'm still getting fatter and I still don't know why. I'm too bad for my seatbelt. Oh, honestly, in my days, I never thought I'd see a man have a tug of war with his own seatbelt. Now that's what happens when you do mukbangs every single day. You know, McDonald's thrusting it down the throat. Yeah, that is what will happen to you. So, some will say, you know, you are what you eat. So obviously at some point, ladies and gentlemen, Nick realised that having breakdowns and eating mukbangs all the time gains a lot of views and money. So of course he just carried on doing it, putting his own life on the line for his YouTube content. In Nick's head, he believes the more tragic he eats and the more drastic the breakdowns, the more views it will get. And to be fair, he's actually right about that. He gets lots of attention from it, as well as makes a lot of money from it as well. And whoa, whoa now, right? I'm not saying these breakdowns aren't real, it's just a speculation. Maybe Nick is an evil genius and he knows exactly what he's doing. For example, one of the videos on his channel says he's gonna become a vegan. And this obviously leads the audience to believe that Nick is actually taking care of his health. He's altering his diet, he's finally realizing that what he's eating all the time is not healthy for him. So he completely changed up his diet. Or did he? Well actually, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it was only a few days later and uh, Nick uh, was eating everything. <laughs> the entire fucking table all over again. And in my opinion, this was obviously a call for attention once again, and he succeeded. That video got a lot of backlash, but also a lot of attention. <laughs> it's no lie right now that Nick's entire channel is just a huge money maker for him, and <laughs> look at these views. It's only a matter of time, boys. It's only a matter of time before I myself become a mukbanger. You know, I could probably do with that, you know? I mean, you know, I wouldn't have any breakdowns or anything like that. <coughs> Mayonnaise on the counter. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's me fucking during lockdown, that. That's right. You heard it here first. I come. You know, I've been rambling, rambling on all this time and talking about his breakdowns without actually showing them. That's because I was saving the best for last. I was so popular. <laughs> you know, and that is probably one of his most iconic clips right there. Nobody likes me, I'm done. 27,000 likes, 200k dislikes. So, uh, the ratio of 27 out of 100. 27% ratio. Oh, that's fucking, uh, it's better chances of me finding a girlfriend this year. That's what I can say. Right, two points quickly. Um, this is the most fucking dramatic thing I've ever seen. For some reason, I feel like I'm watching a very dramatic, sad musical. I don't know where that comes from. I just felt the vibe. Oops, um, sorry there. I just bang the fuck. I just bang the fuck! And he's rubbing uh, egg spunk on his face. Yes, egg spunk. I, I said that. I mean, how far will these breakdowns go? I mean, that's quite the... Uh, Quite the breakdown. <laughs> I mean, talk about being fucking baptised, am I right? But ladies and gentlemen, taking a more serious note quickly, and um, these breakdowns do get worse, and he actually makes it to the point where he breaks down over the simplest things. For example, someone in the restaurant forgot his dressing, and he proceeded to completely shit himself about it. Not just that, but also the clipper who was sitting in the car and he couldn't get his seatbelt on. He actually had another breakdown before that, where he saw a lady feeding some cats in his back mirror. She's feeding the stray cats! Don't feed, don't feed the cats. Stop feeding the cats. Stop feeding the cats. No, no. <laughs> you can see her feeding the cats. No. Who feeding those cats, you bastards? I mean, it's clear that the breakdowns are on purpose just to gain views, and he's clearly manipulating his audience for doing that. You know, it's a known thing that us humans love chaos, and this is what that man is. 
chaos. So obviously people are going to keep coming back watching videos. In fact, he probably follows a similar thing to Trisha Paytas, where she does something for controversy and then she gets a lot of attention from it. This is pretty much the same thing. But not to worry, there's more to come where we talk about, uh, you know, his disrespect towards deceased people, his complete hypocrisy, and also the drama he's also falsely created with his husband just for attention, which I... Not saying that's true, but I very do much believe that. I think he is an evil genius and he knows his way around the YouTube algorithm. So, let's gonna... let's gonna do that. You come in and you know, stay here, uh, just... okay. Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy It's that uncontrollable demon they didn't want to see Alright, so welcome back to another segment in this video. However, not the last. We've still got a, another one to go after this. I'm not sure if you've uh, actually noticed, but can you see how well I contrast him with the background? I know, right? Sign me up for the bloody SAS. So copyright is when you take someone else's content without editing it at all whatsoever and just re-uploading it. Copyright abuse, however, is when you falsely copyright strike someone, which a lot of people do on YouTube, unfortunately. Maybe someone didn't like the video you made to them, so they thought, oh, you know, they've used a picture of my face. Let me copyright strike that video down and give them a strike on their channel. <gasps> it's happened to me so many times, and I'm starting to get enough of it now. That's like Nikocado Avocado striking my video down right now for no apparent reason whatsoever. Maybe his excuse would be because I used one of his clips in my video. Well, that's completely fine. It falls under fair use. This is my video and I'm using that clip to reference one of my points. That falls under fair use. However, let's talk about a channel called Shukbang. Now, Shukbang is a channel that would take, like, maybe a mukbanger's content and actually edit the video to make it funny and humorous. For example, Nick Ocado Avocado eating. Shukbang will then take Nick's video and edit it by putting some background music, maybe some funny effects here and there, and that would fall under fair use. Shukbang was actually copyright striked by someone. However, not Nick Ocado Avocado. The channel was actually striked by someone called Veronica Wang, another mukbanger. And Veronica's reason for striking down Shukbang's video Video was because she didn't like it. What do you mean someone's taken my content and re-edited it to make fun of me? You must be bastard joking. Take down their fucking video now for copyright abuse. But the whole shed of light around this is the fact that Nick Ocado Avocado actually defended Shukbang and actually went at Veronica for taking someone's video down using copyright abuse. Which is quite ironic actually considering Nick and Veronica's from the same industry. They both work in the McBang world. I'm sure Nick wouldn't like it if someone made a video on him, you know, maybe poking some fun with some re-edits here and there. But he defended it. So Nick must be a nice guy. You know, that's... Nick must be a nice guy. However, it doesn't seem that way in a second once I read what's on my screen behind me. Another channel by the name of Hushbang was making some funny edits of Nick Cardo Avocado's video. Now you might assume he might have responded in a, in a very nice way, maybe reacted to the video, maybe had a laugh, maybe shared it around with some friends. No, he, uh, he copyright striked the video down because he didn't like someone else was taking the piss of him. Well done, Nick, you funny bastard, you, eh? <laughs> I mean, it's quite ironic, Nick, that you and up Veronica for doing something that you literally done yourself a couple of months later, huh? What the fuck? Huh? What's all that about? S -s Sorry, I just watching too much Dick Ocado Avocado. So I guess you could call him a, a hypocrite, because that's exactly what he is. But I can only imagine, if, if he's... A hypocrite? What else has he done to cause drama for himself? What else could he have possibly done that's worse than stuffing food 24-7, having mental breakdowns on camera on purpose for self-gain, allegedly, and now being a hypocrite? What else could this man have possibly done? How about, uh, being very disrespectful to a deceased person? Perhaps Kobe Bryant? Let's talk about that. So, Nikocado Avocado. I ask of you today is man to man, or if you prefer, man to beast. What in the world was going through your mind when you decided to address Kobe Bryant's death? First thing to know is Kobe Bryant was a well-respected American basketball player. Very well respected in life, as a man and father. He is one of the most, if not greatest, basketball players of all time. So, what was going through Nick's head? Well, my friends, it was an act of controversy, and I'm sure that's no surprise to some of you who is aware of this specimen already. Creating controversy in order to direct a hate mob against him, which would overall gain him more views and money. Because if we know Nick, the only thing he loves in this world is his money and refrigerator. However, besides those things, you're probably wondering what did Nick do when he addressed Kobe's death, which in result infuriated thousands of people. Well, sometimes it's just best to show you. I want 
crowds of people saying my name because of how good I was. Like, someone just, um, what was his name? A couple days ago, the basketball player who died in the helicopter crash, Kevin Bryant, Bryant, Kevo, Keno, Ke uh, Kurt, no, shh, they're all gonna come for me. Starts with a K, but it should be a C, but people say K. Kevo, Keto. Oh, no, what's his name? Bryant was his last name? Oh, shoot. Curtis. Oh, no. Chris? No. He looks like four, four letters. K, beep, beep. Calvin? Oh, what was his name? It starts with a K. Anyways, he went in a helicopter crash. He got, he passed away in a helicopter crash with his daughter. He's a basketball star, NBA. Is that the St. National Basketball Association? Isn't he? he died in a helicopter crash. And I know I'm saying it with a smile on him. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'm not laughing about that, I swear. So, you know, you can imagine why everyone was so angry at him. He repeatedly said his name wrong on purpose, knowing would cause a mass amount of attention to his name. If he really didn't know his name, realistically, you know, because <laughs> we're all humans here, well, at least some of us are. But realistically, all he had to do was literally cut the part out of where he got his name wrong and Google search during the video just to double check. It really does show how little this man cares. And he also showed that with his shitty follow-up video. I did not insult Colby Bryant. My subscribers are liars. Mexican food mukbang. Well, no one gives a shit about the mukbang, Nick. If I really wanted to see someone scoff their face, I would turn into the food channel on Sky. But yes, Nick. Well done. I'm guessing though you intentionally spelt his name wrong again to cause more controversy. And you're also calling your subscribers liars now. So you're not only disrespecting Kobe Bryant, but you're also disrespecting your subscribers. You know, the people that made you. And the worst part about it is that you literally mentioned the fact your name is spread through controversy and how it benefits you in your follow-up video. So, you gotta ask yourself, what does that say about you, Nick? Huh? For bringing traffic to my channel. Oh, I should be writing you million dollar checks because it's amazing how many hundreds of thousands of extra people are here because of you. But first, that's okay, they're still gonna do it. Go ahead and put this in your video, sweetie, and spread my name even further. Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? No, Nick, I don't want a fucking cookie, and neither do you. You've had enough of them. Let's be real with ourselves. <laughs> Look at that. The punchline was actually ironic, due to the fact Nick struggles to be real on a daily basis. You really do need to sort your life out. But yeah, now moving on from that, I don't want to keep you guys much longer, so we're just going to get into the drama between him and his husband that Nick Ocado constantly creates. False drama, yes or no? Well, that's for you to decide. But in my opinion, I do believe it's all fake drama. I believe everything Nick does on the platform is all for fake controversy, and I will continue to think that until proven wrong. So, all in home, Nick Ricardo's husband, a channel with 133,000 subscribers, and every video in the last two weeks, actually my bad, um, every video in the last month, may I say, has all been based around slating Nick Ocado Avocado, his own husband. I feel trapped in my relationship. Nick Ocado treats me bad. Nick's screaming at me to eat his leftovers. Mukbang. What Nick Ocado did to me. Nick making me eat his leftovers again. Leaving Nick and moving out. Before the breakup, addressing Nick's deleted mental breakdown. So, if you couldn't tell already, it's quite a healthy relationship if I do say so myself. You know, it is so ridiculous and stupid beyond my my belief. And in every single pinned comment of every comment section that they upload, there's always a link to another video which literally makes them both look bad, as if they're creating an entire hate mob against each other. Really, that's not even the case. This is all for views, in my opinion. And you don't have to believe that, but I honestly do believe it. I genuinely think this is all to create drama on their names. And to show even more proof of that, they would literally record a mukbang together and keep in all the bits where they argue. There was one video where they left the camera rolling for seven minutes while they argued, and then just proceeded to carry on like normal and start the video as if it just started even though the camera was previously rolling for seven minutes. All he had to do was stop the camera and restart it. But obviously, that was too much effort for them. Do it yourself. Why don't you help me? I help you. Because I have shit to do. So do I. I do everything. Take it well, and that... I cut my finger making your onions. Well, that's life. But I have to do stuff and then I have to make my video right before bed when my food's all cold. I'm back. Yay. Pretend to be happy. <laughs> now I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> now I am starting to get annoyed. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> the amount of controversy that has been created around these people just for drama is 
absolutely absurd. But Nick and Orland can continue to slate each other because I couldn't give two flying fucks. To end this video, please follow my Twitter and follow my Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video, my crazy friends. <laughs> Cringe. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.